All right, so uh, as you can see, the car is warmed up and it's idling now, so I am going to pull it in the garage. All right, so uh, here's the next step. There is a wire under your dash. It's gonna be brown and white and black. It's on the passenger side, so all the way towards the corner. It'll be in a green clip thing that looks like that. Um, what you need to do, there's two ends, and you need to short circuit this so you can change your timing. If you rotate the distributor without jumping this, the ECU is going to make its own adjustments to the timing. So we're going to go ahead and do this. All right, so I used a paper clip to jump this. What that's going to do is short circuit that terminal on the ECU so the ECU can't make its adjustment. All right, so uh, now that I jumped that connector, you do see that I have a check engine light. That's nothing to worry about. That's exactly what you want to happen. So. When you do that correctly, your check engine light will come on. That just means you did it right. So now we're going to move on to the next step. And the next step is... Actually, moving the distributor to get your desired timing. So, next thing you're going to need is a uh, timing gun. You will need that. So we'll go ahead and get this next part. Alright, when you hook your timing gun up, um, you're going to want your spark plug wire to be on spark plug wire number one. And then hook up the negative and positive battery terminal. Then your gun will work. And what you're seeing, that light, every time that light comes on, that cylinder one firing. That's the spark plug on cylinder one firing. So then you come over and you shine this light down at your, at your crank pulley. And I don't know if you can see it, but there will be a couple marks on your crank pulley. There will be a white mark, an orange mark, and you want the timing to be on the orange mark. So. Alright, next you're going to need a couple more tools. You will need a 12 millimeter open end wrench, 3 8 inch drive ratchet with an extension, and a deep 12 millimeter socket. And then, what you need to do, you need to loosen the bolts on your distributor. Not the distributor cap, you need to actually loosen the bolts on the distributor itself. So you don't you don't want to do these, you want these bolts back here. That's the bolt you want. Not that. And then there will be one more underneath. You have one here and one there. Then you loosen those so you can turn the distributor. You just want to back them out enough so you can turn the distributor. Alright. So now, you can see that the distributor can actually turn. You're going to want to turn that, and you want to turn the distributor until you get your timing set where you want it. And that's about all there is to it. And once you get your timing where you need it, you tighten your distributor back up, and then... You unhook your connector and you're done.